I was born in Colton, California, uh, San Bernardino County, and my parents were migrant workers. I was uh, 17 years old, and it's uh, kind of hard to get a job. <laughs> I enlisted in the Army because uh, I could send home uh, money. <laughs> On May 31, 1951, Corporal Rudy Hernandez was part of a company assigned to defend a hill outside the small Korean town of Wontong Ni. An overwhelming force of enemy troops had stormed the position in a fanatical fury, raining artillery, mortar, and machine gun fire down on Hernandez's under-equipped platoon. At that time, I was firing my weapon and uh, my buddy uh, was firing, and my platoon leader said, withdraw. And I, uh, I, wanted, I didn't want to withdraw. <laughs> I couldn't fire no more uh, because of a rupture cartridge. Uh, I had uh, six grenades in, and I threw uh, all six. At that time, I was wounded. My head, uh, uh, artillery shrapnel. I think uh, no doctor was going to repair, repair me, so <laughs> I might as well go out. <laughs> Uh, all the way. I put my bayonet in my rifle and I can I said, here I come. <laughs> I killed one with the bayonet and the second one got me here, uh, but he didn't go very far. Uh, he just took my teeth out. Yeah, all I know is uh, I, I killed six uh, uh, before falling in country. Hernandez's actions stalled the enemy advance, giving his unit the opportunity to regroup and retake the position. Separated from his unit during the chaos, Hernandez was found the next morning barely alive amidst the bodies of the enemy he had dispatched. I heard it to one of my buddies that they put me in a body bag and they thought I was dead. And uh, later uh, they can come around and they saw my hand moving, moving, and this guy's not dead. In addition to his other wounds, Shrapnel from the artillery shell had torn away part of Hernandez's brain, leaving him mute and immobile for months. After a grueling recovery, he was informed that he would receive the Medal of Honor. There was a colonel, uh, <laughs> which uh, uh, came around my house in Fresno, California, and. Uh, he had some piece of important paper, <laughs> and, he, uh, and I didn't pay much attention to it yeah. <clears throat> until he left, uh, uh, and I discovered I was going to get the Medal of Honor. <laughs> President. Harry S. Truman, uh, he said, uh, I, I'd rather have this medal than be president of the United States. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was quite uh, amazed. Uh, I wear it because of my friends who died. I did it in gladness because uh, it's an honor uh, uh, and uh, privilege uh, to serve our country 